Hi everybody, Dave Galt with Remax Team Galt. As promised, one of my goals was to bring uh, experts and uh, interview them to talk about things that may be uh, relative to you regarding real estate. My guest here is Sean Goebel. Sean is my, my preferred lender, uh, personally. He's my go-to guy when it comes to, to, to getting a loan, refi, that kind of thing. I've used him for personally, and also he's done some great work for my clients. So welcome, Sean. It's good to see you today. Thank you. you Appreciate bet. the opportunity. Absolutely. Well, one thing we've kind of talked about was uh, and we've, we've all been first-time home buyers. Sean's been one, I've been one, it's been a few years for us both, but I remember back in the day, what do I do first? Where, where do I go? There, there's a sign in the yard, now what? And, and that's why Sean's here, because, Sean, what would you say would be the, fir the best thing to do if somebody wants to, to take the first step? Yeah, the, the biggest thing is, is to get contact with somebody who does what I do, and, and that's first and foremost, is just formulate a list of questions once you get past of, hey, I want to buy a house, we talk about how. Yeah. Um, where I spend the most amount of time with people, frankly, is, is working on your budget. How much house truly can you afford? And I'm not talking just on paper how much can you afford, but emotionally, what's comfortable each month as far as a payment. Well, that's the whole thing. You know, I remember I was by myself. I was a single man when I bought my home, and I'm thinking, well, I get that much money, so I can spend that much money. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not factoring in insurance and gas and oh, food, <laughs> you know, the little thing, electricity to power that home and right. keep it warm and cool in the summer, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's why where Sean comes in, he keeps it real. People will come to me and say, well, Dave, how much house can I afford? Well, I've got a little calculator, and I can give you a pretty good idea. But he's the one that's going to know the ins and outs of your of your situation, mm -hmm. your, your financial situation, and he's going to know how much money you got in the bank. Do you have any special stocks and bonds? This kind of stuff, and that's where Sean's going to come into play because, as we both know, you don't want to get in over your head. You don't want to go looking at a hundred and fifty thousand dollar home if Sean says you know where you need to be is probably a hundred and twenty. That way you can live comfortably. You can still mm -hmm. pay those bills. You can still go out to dinner, uh, you know, and, and, and enjoy life. Uh, is the thing. So step one right there. Let's formulate a budget. First and foremost, that's the most important thing. We want to make sure that you're comfortable with the affordability. Then there's a couple reasons for that. One, that's important for you to know because you're not looking at homes, whether it be online, whether you've already contacted a realtor, and obviously I'd love the opportunity to help you with that. But the first things first, don't look at the wrong homes. You know, if you can afford a $120,000 home and it makes sense for you to look in that price range, that's when a realtor can help set up a search or guide you in the right direction. Mm -hmm. The most important things are, you know, if you have children, schools are gonna play a role. You know, what school district do you wanna be in? What neighborhood, what town, what city? So you can zero it in, you can start here and then as you go, zero it in. Realtors aren't gonna get frustrated. I mean, well, there are some that obviously don't have the patience that, that others do. But our goal is to, as a realtor, is, is to help you find the home you want. So you're telling, you're bragging to your friends how awesome Dave was to work with or Becky was to work with and so on. And obviously Sean's the same way. Sean does a great job for you. You're gonna tell everybody. That's why Sean's here. He's done a great job for me and, and clients. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, that step one is making sure that you can afford it, then you take the next step. And that'll be a whole nother video as far as starting the, the home process or whatever uh, for searching. But Sean, first of all, how do they get in touch with you? You can contact me either via uh, Dave's website. If you if you put your contact information there, he'll be happy to forward that to me. You can also uh, reach out to me at ParamountMortgages.com forward slash Sean Goebel. That's S-E-A-N-G-O-B-L-E. -E. Uh, office phone number is 317-774-2995. I'd be happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, that may come up throughout this process. And Sean finally bit the bullet and joined uh, the social media world. And Slowly. He's got, he's got a Facebook account, uh, both personal as well as under, is it Paramount Mortgage? You know? Correct. Okay. Correct. So you can look at him up on, uh, on Facebook uh, as well. He's, under, he's a friend of uh, Remax Team Golf, so you can find him through that as well. But definitely don't hesitate to contact Sean. There, there's no question that you, if you've got a question, ask it. Uh, you know, I, I remember I, just, I had no clue what was going on and thankfully I had a great lender that I worked with this was 20 some years ago a, a lender that that helped hold my hand there's nothing wrong with that by the way and a realtor that held my hand and so it, it buying a home actually can be a lot of fun it's it, it can be, be a stressful time but that's okay it's one of the biggest decisions and biggest purchases you're ever gonna make in your life 
And so it, it never goes away. You're going to buy one, and guess what? A few years later, you're going to buy another one. A few years later, you're going to buy another yeah. one. And it kind of, yeah, it keeps, it, it, life changes. I'm not living in the same house I lived in 20 years ago, and that's okay. Well, and, and the biggest thing I'd like to stress is the importance of open lines of communication. Absolutely. If, if you don't ask the questions today, you're not going to be as comfortable as you should be yeah. when it comes time to go to closing. Yeah. It's important to be informed. Everyone's situation is unique in itself. We need to take the time to make sure we structure the proper file, uh, proper deal, excuse me, around around your particular needs. And don't be shocked. I mean, you know, you could be someone who is currently renting, just graduated college, and maybe got some money. Maybe you inherited some money. Uh, regardless of it, if you think you're in a position to pay on a regular basis, mm -hmm. call Sean. And you know, and you want to own a home. Not every owning a home is not for everybody. But from a financial standpoint, it makes a lot of sense because basically yeah. if you're renting, you're paying somebody else's mortgage. So you might as well have build some equity of your own. And, uh, and real estate's not going anywhere. I mean, we're, our market's not terrific, but it, believe me, it's, it's not horrible. Yeah, we're, we're doing a lot better than some other states, mm -hmm. especially down southeast, but like uh, FLA there. But no, we're, we're doing sitting pretty uh, as far as I'm concerned here in the, the Hamilton County uh, yeah. area. So. Well, any other uh, juicy tidbits before um, we roll? Well, I think we'll do another segment probably just to kind of break down some of the more important details. Um, some of the things I was thinking about is kind of the mortgage ABC, um, and each person's situation is different. A would represent your ability, B falls back again to the importance of the budget, and then the C would represent your individual credit situation. So I'd like to, to touch on those a little bit more in the future. So we've got Tony is clever. You can do the whole alphabet this way. Probably I, not. What's, what, I wonder what Z would be. I'm not really sure um, what Z would be, but I don't know if uh, if zebra is a technical mortgage Ooh. term, but we can we can certainly. I don't know how it's going to take a lot of zebras to purchase that home there on the lake. That's for that's for sure. But well, I'm Dave Gall. We'll, we'll hit you up next time here. Like you said, we'll pro this is the first in the series. So uh, stay tuned for, for updated ones, and we may, we may hit a few here even yet today. So again, Dave Gall with Remax Team Gall. Sean Goble, Paramount Investment, looking forward to helping you out. We'll see you next time here. Take care, have a great day, and we'll see you in the future.